Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 119 of my FIFA 14 My Player career on the Xbox One. And today we've got some more World Cup qualifying games with England. And we're hoping to get back into good form. You can see their play form is bad. Can we get a goal or two here away to Switzerland and hopefully try and qualify for this World Cup? In 2022 it will be. So which World Cup would that actually be? Is that Russia? Is that the Russian World Cup? It may be. But anyway, we're kicked off. England kick off. Can we go on an early attack? All got taken out there. Seven minutes played. Kakwamp on the ball. Losing it in there in midfield. And now Switzerland looking to attack on the left side. Oh, the ball's played forward. Cross comes in on the head. Six yard box. And that's a simple goal. Simple finish. Switzerland lead 1-0 after just nine and a half minutes. It's not what we wanted. We wanted an early goal for ourselves, not for the Swiss. That's a goalkeeper doing. Poor goalkeeper in there. And Kaquam has started the game poorly once again. 5.9 after 10 minutes. Oh, what was that? That was a poor pass as well. So into the last minute of this game, World Cup qualifiers away to Switzerland. And unless we score here, we're going to be losing. I think that is going to be that. It is. The final whistle blows. Switzerland 1, England 0. That is absolutely appalling. Kaikwan finished the game with a 6.5 final match rating. And we're being rested for the next game in the league at home to Getafe. Where I'm hoping that Barcelona can get the three points. And they can't because they've lost again. So that's two losses in a row now in this career in this episode, sorry. And this could be a third because we've got Inter Milan next up, Champions League. And I think this is the first leg. So let's try and go out and win. Two losses out of two games so far. So let's make this third time lucky. Barcelona to kick off. Kakwam having an early touch. And almost 10 minutes played. Inter Milan have a corner. Comes swinged in. Penalty area. Oh, good save from the keeper. The cross comes back in. Header. And the keeper is nowhere for the second one. And Inter Milan have taken lead again just after nine minutes. Same as what Switzerland did even. And now a lot of work to do for Kaikwam and for Barcelona. It's an away goal as well for Inter Milan, which is important for them. Kaikwam. Playing a simple pass there in midfield. And into the second half. Almost an hour played. Still looking for an equalising goal. Kakwan picking up the ball in midfield. Playing it forward. It's a nice ball. Come on. Traore. Cuts inside. Shoots far post. And scores. That is the equaliser. Almost an hour played. It's now Barcelona 1. Inter Milan 1. And 20, number 21. Traore. Scores that goal. Well in... Good individual play. Get my words out properly. Cuts inside. Did the defender. Nobody else on him. And a simple pass. Past the keeper. And his. That actually was his last action of the game. Because he's been replaced by Lionel Messi. And here we go. Last minute. Can we get a winner? Heads it away. Can I come on the ball? Five players in front of him. It's going to be blocked from there. And that might be the last chance it is indeed. The final whistle blows. It ends Barcelona 1, Inter Milan 1. And we've got it all to do in the second leg. Inter Milan have that away goal as well. And they'll also be in front of their home fans. And Kakwan finishes the game with a 6.2 rating. And I'm going to withdraw my loan request because summer is approaching. We're near the end of February now. And I want to hopefully get a transfer away. El Clasico we're being arrested for. And we got the victory. 2-1 win there. Messi with two goals. Nice to see him get a couple of goals. And decided to remove me from the loan list. Which is awesome. Hopefully they will put me on the transfer list soon as well. I'm not enjoying playing at Barcelona. Playing in central midfield. I'm just getting not being able to push up as much as I'd like to. And it's hard work because the strikers are crap at Barcelona. Traore, I think, is about 30 years old. So, anyway, Barcelona kick off. We're playing against Villarreal away from home. 
hoping to put in a good performance to end this episode. Ball straight over the top there from Messi. Oh, almost a nice start. Two minutes gone. Lionel Messi just putting that one wide. Beautiful, beautiful ball from Kakwan though to find Messi. And 15 minutes in. Kakwan winning the ball. Playing it forward. And that's a nice through ball to Lionel Messi. Kakwan's there. If you can find him, Lionel Messi finds Kakwan. Shoots in off the post and Barcelona leads 17 minutes and 17 seconds. And finally, Kaikom has something to celebrate about. Well played from Lionel Messi to find me. And took my time and put it in the back of the net. 1 0 Barcelona lead. 6.9 rating after scoring that goal. And he's won the ball straight from kickoff as well. And he finds a re return. And last minute of this game, no more action since that goal. So, looks like it's going to finish 1-0. We're on the attack now, though. Uh, there goes the final whistle. A 1-0 victory. Nice to be back on winning terms in the league. And Kaikon with the winning goal. So, it's nice for him to be back in the goals as well. And I think we're going to end this episode with a simmed game. Because we're being rested for it. So, here we go. Who are we playing? Well, actually... Transfer a request before we go. See if that gets accepted. Be nice if it does. Celta Vigo is the game we're being rested for. As always. Come on, let's get a victory. Yes, easy 3-0 win there for Barcelona. Going in a nice little bit of a run. And uh, we've got Zaragoza in the next game. And a, con a transfer request was turned down. Gutted. Hopefully it gets accepted in the next episode.